Hello everybody, this is Streamline Steamroller. I have an issue of utmost importance. That, okay, so, I've heard a lot of complaints about the CW80 that they just, that post-war trains just don't like the power pre-war 2. So I thought, well, what happens if I look at it under the oscilloscope? So I have a, a transformer that's similar. This here is an RW, it's 110 watts, the CW80 is only 80 watts. But it's a pre-war unit. I mean, it's a really nice transfer. You pick these up for 30 bucks. I love these things. And so, okay, from, from this one, the old one, you know, you get a nice sine wave. You know, what, what else was I expecting? Now I... <laughs> now I put it on the CW80. Like this. And look what I get! What kind of wave pattern is this? What is it? Like... Really, Lionel? Really? I mean, I've always thought that this would be bad for your computerized trains. You know, post-war, it doesn't really matter, because they ran with these things in pre-war, too. But I always thought that this was bad, and this was good. For your but if anything, this is more difficult to rectify out, so it put more strain on your voltage regulator, which would mean that you could burn out your voltage regulator a lot more easily. I've never had a problem with either one of these, but... Evidence! Right there. Turn the intensity up. You can really see what it looks like. Like, I don't even know. So, basically, the point of this video is, these things, you better be careful with them. These, you can put whatever you want on them. These things are cool. But anywho, so, yeah. Just stay away from these. Keep to these. Anywho, streamlined steamroller. You all have a good day.